Nova School of Law, we provide our students with an outstanding education in some of the classic core areas of, of legal studies. But besides these more traditional areas of law, we uh, also distinguish ourselves for uh, integrating interdisciplinary insights into the everyday learning habits of our students. One thing that also distinguishes us is that we follow a model of legal education that is quite unlike other models followed in more traditional law schools. Traditional legal education is deductive in nature, so one begins with the general theories and then applies them to specific problems. Here at Nova School of Law, we begin from the problem and then attempt to contextualize it and see what arguments we can use in one sense or the other when addressing these new legal uh, problems. Another thing that, that is typical of traditional legal studies is a strict divide between theory confined to lectures and practice confined to smaller seminars. Uh, uh, we integrate both components extensively. We follow a hands-on approach to practice, to legal practice, uh, institutional practice as well. Uh, we also uh, follow the direction in which uh, uh, the economy, uh, society is going. So, so we study sustainability and economic issues and the, uh, technological issues, uh, even though they are not yet fully stabilized and we have only now just begun to understand the legal problems that they raise. As part of our uh, hands-on approach to legal practice, we encourage our students not only to debate existing uh, uh, case law, we also involve them directly in uh, moot courts, uh, in particular European Union law moot courts, which, is, which has become a tradition almost for our second year students and a project that they're very much fond of. Moot courts are simulations of trials where students have the opportunity to represent one of the parties in a hypothetical litigation process under question. The main objective of a moot court is to prepare students for persuasive advocacy within an academic environment. In these competitions, students develop various types of skills such as time management, management under pressure, oratory and research. In terms of our commitment to following recent trends and trying to figure out where the law is going to be down the line, um, we also involve from the very start of their studies our students both at bachelor's and master's level in our multiple knowledge centers, that is smaller units devoted to research uh, and dissemination on specific uh, themes such as sustainability, business and human rights, technology or intellectual property. Hello, my name is Claire Bright. I'm the director of the Nova Center on Business, Human Rights and the Environment. Um, the center aims to contribute to promoting responsible and sustainable business conduct um, in Portugal, in Europe and beyond. At the center we have a lot of students helping and contributing to the research that we do from undergraduate level to master students, PhD researchers and postdoc. Um, students tend to be involved in all sorts of activities, um, organization of podcasts, writing blog posts, participating to the organization of events, um, and uh, generally participating in research projects. So for instance, at the moment, we're working with the students from the ELSA Association uh, on a research project about the Portuguese National Action Plans that is uh, currently in the drafting by the Portuguese government. So we're writing recommendations as to what we think should be included in there. Um, um, and uh, this is a project that it aims to inform uh, policy makers. Um, so the, the idea really about the involvement of students within the centre is to make the bridge between theory and practice and to allow the students to um, make that bridge and to get ready for their professional life um, in the field, especially the ones that want to continue um, with some careers in business and human rights or ESG, uh, etc. What next law is a partnership between Nova School of Law 
and the leading law firm Viera de Almeida. The cities of the future are the cornerstone of our activities. What next is deeply integrated with our cutting edge master in law and technology. By performing small research tasks during the academic year, students can experiment and uh, get uh, satisfy their curiosity in different areas in order to find the topics they are most passionate about to write their master thesis. By publishing their findings, students contribute to the public debate, but also increase their visibility with a view to join the job market. Importantly, What Next offers scholarships to students who want to write their thesis in topics related to the cities of the future. Moreover, What Next supports our students by putting them in touch with legal practitioners and also market players and in this way we give the students unique opportunities to have practical insights on their research interests and also important networking opportunities. These features have been recognized by the Financial Times. In fact, What Next Law has been shortlisted for the 2022 Innovative Lawyers Award. Fingers crossed. Here at Nova School of Law, we really do have a strong tradition of keeping pace with newer developments and the strong shifts in society and the economy. Uh, so what I will want to see our law school in three years is building on that and continuing to be a law school that strives to understand the law as it is becoming rather than the law as we have known it. At Nova School of Law, we take rather a proactive stance of trying to anticipate what legal problems will exist in the near future by right now studying uh, the nature of those problems from a social, economic and political standpoint. Another issue that I think should be uh, explored in the coming years is the use of technology and remote teaching in our pedagogical practices. During the pandemic, we all used uh, digital means to transmit uh, information and to teach our students. So now that the pandemic seems to have subsided, uh, it is maybe time to tap into the full potential of remote teaching uh, and above all of better digital techniques to teach uh, this time around without the serious time constraints that we had in 2020 and 2021. We can now think carefully about how we want to use digital means to better train our students who will be the jurists of tomorrow in whatever legal profession they may choose.